Okay, today we have something kind of interesting. Um, hit up in the state sale this morning. It's cold. It was 27 out there uh, in the country where I found this, and it's about uh, 31 right now. A little cold for a fan video. But here we are. The reason I'm doing it is because I was going to dust it off anyway before I bring it in to where I store them. Uh, came out of a garage in an estate sale. Um, no name on it at all. It has a universal motor. Um, and uh, it must have had another attachment. It must have had, you can see all these holes and there's some threaded uh, screw holes. So this must have, had, must have had some sort of a window uh, attachment, telescoping so that you could fit it in. I'm not sure if this has been repainted or not. Um, if it has, they went, they went crazy with it. So maybe uh, we'll take a look at that. I'd like to eventually get the motor out. Um, looks like it's held in. Well, I'll turn the fan around, around I'll show you a little more. Uh, the switch is a little unwieldy. It's a little cracked. So it's going to be a new switch, but it does run. Here's uh, high. So that's a little on the slow side for what you'd consider high. Now we'll switch it to low as it's marked. And it slows down a little bit. So I'm not really sure if that's how this is supposed to run. I'm going to turn it off. Um, it might just need to be oiled um, to get a little more out of it. Um, not really sure. Never seen one of these before. Again, there's no name on it at all except for it says uh, universal on the motor so it's a universal motor uh, and I'll turn around so you can see it from the other side all right so as you can see the switch this little plastic switch that's attached this is all unplugged um, but the switch is cracked the plastic so that's going to, need to be replaced if you were going to use this um, uh, I'm not sure if this is the original wire you can see that it runs um, there's some plastic tubing around the wiring and it runs into this motor here. Now there's no oil point port on the back of the motor. I'll turn this up here. There's no oil port at all. So I'm not sure, other than taking the motor apart, how you'd oil this. Uh, there's no oil port on the front either. And as you can see, it's a closed bearing. Uh, again, there's no real words anything anywhere on this except for the motor has a pad plate on it that says universal. And I'll try to show you that in a second. All right, so I got the Allen key out, which was a surprise. And I did it by using the allen wrench on the side and then grabbing it here with the plier with the flat pliers for some leverage um, and it worked which i'm thinking it might work also on the country air that i had a hard time uh, and i was unable to get that that out of there let me put this away safely so i don't lose it and then um you might ask, what's this giant wrench for? Well, I have a feeling that these blades are going to be stuck on the shaft. I haven't used any penetrant, but one of the things I thought you could do is you could get this behind there um, with the, you know, close it down to about the size of the shaft and then use it to get some, some force on here to knock these off. Is that going to work? I don't know, um, but I'm going to try it. We'll see how it goes. All right, you can see in there, and that's the shaft, which seems to have an enlarged, um, I don't know, it's an odd ball type thing on the end there. So the shaft, I don't know, it's weird. It seems to fit into that opening on the end of the case, the motor housing. So that's kind of interesting. Um, there's not a lot of room here to get that um, wrench in there, but it might be working because there seems to be a little more of a lip than there was before. So it might just take a while for that to begin sliding um, off of the shaft. Uh, there's no oil port opening. Um, it's got this screen dealy here to keep obviously probably rain and stuff from getting into the motor. Um, 
interesting design. It's kind of a flimsy, soft blade hub. Um, let's see if it says anything on it. Um, breeze. Okay, here we got something. We got Bronson Fan MedCorp. And then patent information. It's a Bronson, guys, or at least the blades are. So we're going to work on getting these blades off of here just to dust the box out. I just want to get as much crap cleaned out of here as I can. And for now, that's the plan for now. All right, this isn't going to be easy to show you, but I found the oil ports. One and two. You can see it above the, uh, the nameplate, and there's one on the back, too. However, those should be located vertically. So this has obviously been apart and put back together incorrectly, probably, right? Um, I really doubt the oil is going to go in at an angle like that. And it stands to reason that the nameplate for the motor would be facing upward, upways. So, you know, maybe it's been apart. Maybe it's been repainted. Who the hell knows? I don't know. Um, but the color seems right for how old this is. And I'm not that worried about it. Um, no movement on the motor, the fan blades off of the shaft. So this is going to be as easy as I thought. And I don't want to pry against the... Um, you know, against the uh, the motor housing, um, so I'm gonna have to figure out a better way. And obviously, heat helps and uh, penetrant. I have some PB blaster, and I have some other stuff my brother sent me. So, you know, eventually we might be able to get this apart. Now I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna store it. There you go. Hope you've enjoyed watching this. It's an interesting fan for sure. Um, for the window, for the shop. It's not really a house fan, although it would definitely work, and that's probably what I'll end up using it for uh, if it fits in any of our windows, which I'm not 100% sure about. But there you go. Uh, classic old girl. Uh, found it at a state sale this morning. Winter fan find. It needs wiring. Obviously, that switch is not good. Maybe I'll try and show you that a little closer. All right, so we got you inside here. No, no luck uh, at all. Um, getting the blades off. It's going to need some penetrant oil and some heat uh, to begin moving those. I'm glad the Allen key came out. That's one less thing. I've replaced the Allen key and now the plan is to oil it. I flipped the fan up on its side so that the oilers are upright. And I've got the zoom spout in hand and we're going to try. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this on camera. I really wanted to for you. All right, here's the rear bearing and we're just going to drop as much as it seems it'll take if it doesn't take any. Can you see that? I think you can see it. It's taking some in there. I don't know how much it's actually going to take. This is uh, trying to do it from behind so that you can still see what I'm doing there. All right. Nope. Go, almost makes it, and we're just dropping some Earl in there, as Grandpa would have said. That seemed to soak down a little bit. Let's try the other side. Can't reach it there. All right, so it's taking a little bit of oil, but it's difficult to film for you. Um, so I'm going to keep attempting that, even though it's not going to be on camera. And then we'll run it, see if it runs any better uh, now that it's being oiled. All right, I'm going to make a correction. And I believe that this is the way the fan should stand. If you look at the sides, it has this flat area for the bottom. And that seems to be the way that it's supposed to stand. Um, and then if it does stand that way, that means that the oilers are up facing up as they're supposed to be. So it looks like I didn't know what I was talking about, which is common, and I'm used to it. So it seems like standing upright, that's what this fan looks like um, with the flat sides for the bottom. Um, however, it might not have been used that way because we have some rust damage and stuff on the side. So it could be uh, that it was used when I, where I, where I picked it up, he had it leaning on the other side. So maybe they used it the other way in the window. Who knows? But that's the thing. I cleaned off the front of the shaft and oiled the front of the bearing um, down in there. 
and then I've been putting some oil in those oil holes and it seems to be freeing up a little bit not a lot really but that might make it run better we're gonna find out all right here it is from the back standing upright as it's supposed to um, so that's what she looks like again it got, it's got this X pattern that holds the motor and uh, the motor is facing up as it's supposed to um, now that I've figured that out um, and uh, it's just got these metal side dealies there's no rubber mounts or anything like that um, I would say this is definitely made to be put in a window um, and they don't seem to have made a little a lot of concession to making it be quiet so it's probably not an indoor fan I don't think this was sold as a home fan this is probably a garage or shop fan you know um, again no real name brand on it just the motor has a name on it universal and there you go it's taken up a lot of oil so maybe it hasn't been oiled in 50 years I don't know so we're gonna run it again once I put some more oil in it and see how it does all right so we've got her plugged back in we're gonna be careful with the uh, switch because it's open broken and cracked we don't like that um, but for now we're gonna try and make it work and we're gonna see if it runs any better now that it's been oiled somewhat um, I was able to get some oil directly on the front bearing behind the shaft and and then uh, in the oil ports. It's taken a lot of oil, so we're going to see what it does now. This should be hot. Seems to be getting going a little better than it was before, that's for sure. Alright, now we got something. Seems about where she wants to be. It's not shaking too much. It's a good amount of air. Now we're going to bring it down low, carefully. low speed has a bit of a humming noise I don't know if you can hear it over the birds but that's about low back to high and the hum seems to be the motor it's not the case or the table I've got it on all right wait for it to come back up to speed and then we'll do a spin down. All right, I like that. Let's do a spin down. Turning off. spin down. The blades aren't that heavy. It all seems to be pressed aluminum, not too fancy. A um, couple of things tell me this might not be that old, despite the switch. It's all pressed um, aluminum for the blades, um, stuff like that. Um, so there you go. There's your uh, garage exhaust fan, I suppose. One direction only, just pushing out. Um, and obviously you could turn it around and use it however you wanted, really. Uh, so there you go. There's your no-name uh, classic green Whatever the hell you'd call this thing. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any uh, thoughts on how to handle this thing going forward Let us know and uh, thanks a lot. Have a good day